Education Galaxy presents Independent and Dependent Quantities. Independent and dependent variables are very useful and important in science. They're essential to any science experiment. It's important to remember that changing the independent variable causes change in the dependent variable. X is always the independent variable and Y is always the dependent variable. Let's investigate some scientific questions. Does being tardy impact test scores? Well, the time it takes to get to class is independent and would have caused a change in the test scores. So test scores would be the dependent variable because it depends on the time it takes to get to class. What about the question, does salting ice make it melt faster? What we have control over is the amount of salt we put on the ice and then that causes a change in the speed of the ice melting. In other words, the speed of the ice melting depends on the amount of salt on the ice. Now let's consider if playing video games improves reaction time. The reaction time would depend on the amount of time playing video games. So time spent playing video games would be the independent variable and the reaction time would be the dependent variable. Let's consider one more scientific question. Do plants grow taller when fertilizer is used? Since the height of the plants would depend on the amount of fertilizer used, the amount of fertilizer would be independent and the height of the plants would be dependent. Let's check out a practice problem. The graph shows the amount of money Mindy earned based on the number of cupcakes she sold. List the dependent quantities in the graph. Our two variables are the x-axis, cupcakes sold, and the y-axis, amount earned. The dependent quantity is always represented on the y-axis, as the amount earned would depend on the number of cakes sold. Therefore, our answer is the list of all the y-values on the points of our graph. So, 3, 6, and 9. And that's it. Let's check out another practice problem. This one says that the table shows the side length s and the perimeter p of a regular pentagon. List the independent quantities in the table. Since the perimeter of a polygon depends on the side length, side length is independent and perimeter is dependent. So if we want just the independent quantities, we want to list the side lengths 3.5, 4.3, 6.1, and 8. Those would be all our independent quantities. This concept can be applied to all kinds of science and math topics. All real-world graphs, tables, and science experiments use them.